I don't know, two, four, seven. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to tap here. Let's freaking go, dude. Hello, Stunkle Bugs. Welcome back to another ca murder at Castle Nath 3, a card uh, no, video. <laughs> the noggin uh, on release day. So much going on. I just cannot think straight. But today, we're actually bringing you. I'm going to play Iron Deep Truck. We're bringing you some Imp Warlock, the Imp Possible <laughs> to beat uh, deck. So, ooh, well, we're definitely going to be trading here, aren't we? So the Imp Warlock deck is a very aggressive, like hype, hyper aggressive deck, and it kind of falls into it because of the impending catastrophe, which is two mana draw a card and then draw an additional card for every Imp you have in play, um, and that just kind of lets you do a ton of stuff with these Imps. And then of course you have Imp King Reform. If you can't win, just play pure pressure uh, in the early game, which honestly so far we're going a little slow. Um, then you just end it by resummoning five imps and buffing the board. <laughs> Which is insane. Uh, like, let's be honest. So it looks like our opponent here is playing a type of aggro face warlock, perhaps. Trade here to get all the value trades. Hit them with the shadow blade. And then I guess we play the flustered librarian who gets plus one attack for every imp you control. So one mana, one three is already pretty good. And then of course you have even one imp on the board and it just becomes amazing. Ooh, wild spirits, look at you. Ooh, this one gets rush. That'll help them clear my board a little bit. Uh-huh. Still have two imps though. Yeah, I was gonna say you're probably gonna want to take out an imp, so that way this goes down to be a two-three, right? Unfortunately for you, Inkwell, I have the fiendish circle. Ooh, or do I just play the bartender? Oh, decisions. I think uh, I only have one actual imp, so I think we fiendish circle and then do both of these trades. Tap. Now, this doesn't wake up this turn, which means that as of right now, they actually don't have anything. Uh, I already have a full board, so we can likely just Shady Bartender, which would make all of these uh, three threes, which is crazy considering this is a 5-1. That doesn't look like it's going to die. So we're going to be able to hit for 3, 6, 9, 12, 17 points of damage. If only I had one more mana to also play in this vile library. That would be amazing. Leave it up there for a second to let you see, but it is the location card for this deck. You have a friendly minion plus one plus one for each imp. You are in then repeat for each imp you control. But we're just gonna play Shady Bartender. Um We're actually gonna do this trade here. Don't know if that's the best idea or not, but we're gonna do it. And we're keeping the other Shady Bartender, of course, because if they can't clear the board here, then that's just I'm like <laughs> <laughs> like another massive board buff. Plus, I'll have enough mana to play the file library as well. Uh, wild seeds to try to wake the stuff up faster. No. Um, aim shot, quick shot. Okay, you're clearing my board. Double quick shot. In that case, I think we just imp king. Yeah, it's like the perfect board size. Hit them in the face for ten. I don't think I don't think they like this deck very much. Uh, now, don't get me wrong; um, it, it's quite possible. Ramming out, take out my reform. Uh, actually, I don't know if it is possible in a deck like that to uh, take out all of my minions. Nah, it's not. Ooh, look at this deck! Like I said, impossible, impossible to beat. Ooh, I mean, don't get me wrong; they had me down to I guess eleven, but they're gonna let me beat them, so we're just gonna. Hit them with the two, or with the little warlocks, just so that way we don't waste any of their time. Thank you, Inkwell. That was a good game. Um, like I said, you have me down to 11, which is pretty good. Now, this deck is really fast. I don't recommend crafting anything um, just because it, the cards just came out. But if you do have most of the cards and or have enough dust, you do want to try it out. So far, this appears to be one of the best decks, I think, of the expansion. But I didn't think it was going to be, so I was excited to give it a shot. So here we are. If you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe. But we're going to go into another game. This was going to be a little bouncy imp, but I don't know why I thought imps bounced. You know what? 
I am actually going to keep this deck. Uh, I know we're against a mage and I probably own well a ton of skeletons, but we're going to keep this going and try to maybe get the Bloodbound Imp out on two, Imp Gang Boss on three. Um, I'd have to get A, lucky, or B, very unlucky to have three minions die in time for Mischievous Imp, although this Void Walker might help us a little bit. So now we have Void Walker into Bloodbound Imp, into Imp Gang Boss, into possibly Mischievous Imp. Hmm, Wildfire. You're playing a Wildfire. Okay, we'll play that. We'll play the little Bloodbound Imp like we like we planned. Followed up by the Imp Gang boss. We have ourselves the curve to do it. Okay. Um, you can't... Okay, interesting. Hit, hit, and Imp Gang boss. Let's go. Ah, Flurry. Uh, Multicaster? They're just trying to draw. Alright, so this is like a, just kind of a classic. Uh, let me trade the Wicked Shipment. App is alright. Ooh, wow, Library next turn is pretty good. Get these trades in. Get ourselves a little 1-1 one, one Imp. This time we'll try to remember... So none of these have anything to infuse them. We have either just 8-8 eight, eight, or we'd have the Bio Library, depending on what they decide they want to do to us here. Obviously, if they take out one of our minions without playing one of their own, we will not be able to play... Ooh. Throws my 1-3. That seems like a super weird choice. Hmm. What do we do then? I think we just play the Librarian and a Sea Giant. Yeah, and go face. Why not? And now they use at least one of their their freezes. Um, the only thing I guess if they were they use a flurry, and so let's see what would they have? Um, they'd have Dawn Grasp to just freeze my whole board, or Reckless Apprentice to try to kill. Ooh, that animation is much faster. Not sure when they did that, but I'm here for it. Yep, of course they value trade there. That makes sense. Uh-huh. Buff that up. Just smack him in the face for 12. Oops. Now, if they have another Wildfire Reckless Apprentice, they can clear my board. Plus, they have a way to freeze one. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, they don't. Oh, they don't. Uh, they can trade here, trade there. Yeah. Boom. Super fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, this deck is amazing. Those games were super quick. Um, I guess just to keep showing it off, we are going to go hop into a third game. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below if this is something, uh, you know, if you do like me to play multiple games if they're faster, or if you still just like me to stick to the two-game format. Uh, but yeah, let me know, and I'll take that feedback into consideration for future videos. But uh, taking up enough of your time, let's go. Looks like we're going up against another mage, y'all. Um, we're going to keep Mischievous Imp, because we have the Wicked Shipment. I uh, don't know if we'll play the Wicked Shipment, of course. We're going to start with Flustered Librarian, and then it'll depend on what they play. Because if they play like a 3 health minion or something, then of course we might want to play our Wicked Shipment just to uh, get out a 3-3 three, three already. But it looks like we'll probably just play the Blood Bounty and take the value trade. Ooh, Imp King Reform in our hand is amazing. Let's go. Because now it's going to get infused way before probably six mana. Oh, I have coin too, actually. Yep, that makes sense. Nightcloak Sanctum. Keep me frozen. I mean, just two mana draw three is pretty good. I guess I could have drew another one. But that's fine. Legally binding. Maybe should have kept the coin. Or Imp King, but I think getting out even more pressure, like, if they don't freeze my board here, <laughs> we can play Wicked Shipment, Ooh, and Vile Library. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we do. And we'll do it to the Taunty Taunt, the Taunty Minion. And we'll just smack him really hard in the face. And we're going to keep this, uh, the Shady Bartender, because... 
there's a good chance they're not going to clear my board, but if they take out one of my minions, or if I want to get like a single value trade, the Shady Bartender will be really good. Ooh, they didn't let that get infused. My god. Uh, so far, I only have two imps left, though. And this one won't be able to attack, so... Uh, this I don't think I have room anymore. Uh, well, this is not frozen. So let's give it... Let's give it... Smack. Smacky smack smack. I mean, they've got enough stuff to keep me frozen. Yep. I was going to say, quite a while, it looks things. Hmm. Let's see, we can make up one board space. Okay, they are going to do some trades. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe they'd go face. I'd probably hit here first if I was them. If they're going to make trades, that way this guarantees, uh, or not guarantees, but it's more likely to take up two minions. If this hits... Okay, it didn't anyway. I mean... I have room. Watch cha cha cha. Apparently, I didn't even have four imps though. Uh, boom. Seven seven. That's okay. Still think it was worth it. Uh, let's see. They have two freezes. Ooh. Okay, so they have two freezes. So seven. So I have. Yep. I thought for a second they looked like they were playing another one. Um. What's this? Okay. Frozen torch. Touch. So I have eight damage that can go face. This is infused, and I have room for three, so let me just life tap first. And yeah, we'll just play it out. Go face. Hope they don't have another blizzard. If they have another blizzard and just decide to try to lock me out here, um, this could be over. But if they don't, or I guess, like I said, Dawn Grasp. If they have board freezes, then we just locked ourselves. Yep. And then they just hit us in the face for a couple of turns now. And uh, I don't think there's really anything we could do... Yeah. Nope, they have enough damage now. Alright, cool. Why are they trading? Um, sure. I don't know, two, four, seven... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to tap here. Let's freaking go, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Sea Giant. Now, Okani would have been amazing to play. That way I could try to stop them from uh, doing Blizzard. But I'm assuming they are trading because they're trying to play their new cards. And they really wanted to beat us with... Uh, thank you, Mrs. Snuggly. They really wanted to beat us with... Uh, the new stuff? Um, sorry, the Kalthazad, but... This, if that's Ice Barrier, it's 8, 15, 21, 25, 27. They're at 29, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, plus that's freezing me. Still don't know if I have it. Vile Library would go a long way. Um, but yeah, so Vile Library would give me some. Shady Bartender gives me... Only like plus four here, right? Let me see. Um, yeah, they have 29, 10, 17, 19. There's only two imps. Play it anyway. Trade. The interesting thing is here, do I need to... Man, I think I just need to actually trade everything, don't I? Do that, and uh, I guess we stop Blizzard or the the Deathborn, perhaps. Okay, so they know it's not minion that's countered. That could be lethal. It is not. Ooh. And that should be lethal on my half? Yeah! Now, that was either a misplay or, again, they were just trying to win with the Kalthazad. But either way, we will take it. Um, uh, technically, I'm not doing like an official Road to Legend series, but we are back on our road to Legend. And in that road, we take any win we can. This deck is not to beat it, like, uh, be a broken record. It's impossible to beat. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.
and I'll see you in the next one.